In today's episode, we are visiting the Birmingham RV Super Show. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you've not subscribed, please do so because it helps our channel. We do want to hear from you, so please drop a comment below. Now stay tuned in this episode as Glamp Review goes to the Birmingham RV Super Show. We'll be seeking out and featuring a walkthrough, a new camper brand that is highly talked about. We will also explore a million dollar motor coach in this episode. So stay tuned until the end as we reveal these findings and more. Without further ado, let's get to it and enjoy the show. All right, so uh, Tanya, where are we heading? We're heading to the Birmingham RV Show. Birmingham RV Super Show. All right, is it going to be a super good show? We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. All right, so we're uh, stopping at the Bucky's here in Alabama. I ain't never been in a Bucky's. It's the first time. Boy, it's breezy. It's breezy. Yeah. Oh, you're in for a treat at the Bucky's. We're in for a treat. <laughs> yeah. money left I'll we spent it all at Bucky's so don't have any money for the camping show now uh, we're gonna y'all stay tuned because we're gonna see what's going on around the camping show here and see what the Birmingham uh, Jefferson uh, convention complex has to offer with the RV show we have never been to this one nope. all right so y'all stay tuned we uh, we missed a turn so now we're trying to figure out how to get, how to get there on 11th Avenue. Woo. I think we beat everybody. Right, Is anybody up. anybody gonna be in this uh anybody gonna be at this uh, camping show? Cause yeah. it looks pretty empty. So Tony, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go try to see if we can find the Brinkley line of campers, right? We're gonna see if we can walk through those and look at them. Okay. See what they're all about, right? Yep. Is that what you're gonna buy? Uh, no. You gonna buy a new camper? No, we're not buying a new but camper. But wait a minute, we're at a camping show. Isn't that what no. people do when they come to a camping show? They no. buy new campers? No. No, they don't always do that, no. do they? Because we sometimes come in there and we look. To, we, a lot of times you just like to see what's out, don't yes. you? And also there's campgrounds. We should see some campgrounds in here and get some uh, ideas, ideas of where to go and maybe find some places in Alabama since that's where we're at. And I guess we go over here to the ticket booth. Yeah, we're the first in line almost. Enter to win. Enter to win. And then, huh? Oh, hey, Tony. I take a picture of you taking a picture of me. Now don't delete that. I'm gonna FOIA request that. <laughs> okay. Yay. Don't delete that. I'm gonna fully request that now. Yeah. Whoa, well, it's half wrecking. Hey. <laughs> Take one of my brochures. Yes, sir. Okay. Take one of our leaf floating keychains. Here's the yeah. more interesting Alabama. If you book now in the next four weeks and you call and bet you saw me at Birmingham, I'll give you 20% off your site. Not only hmm. do we have a campground though, we also have horseback riding. Oh, that's cool. We have jet ski rental. Oh, yeah. The best thing, we have pontoon boat rental. Think of the fun you can have with that. All right, here we go. We're entering into the RV show. Oh yeah, this is one that's already set up. You just rent. Yeah, you just rent it. Yeah. Pit, boats, bikes, yeah. everything is there. All you need to do is bring your personal belongings. That's cool. We have a thousand feet of natural shore frontage. We have fishing poles. Mm -hmm. so, so where is this at? It's in Navarre Beach. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's in Navarre yeah. Beach. That's Alabama? It's Florida. Florida. Oh, I didn't hear. I don't know. Yeah. We, I don't know. We got been camping on the Gulf. I'm, I'm, that's I'm a little geographically yeah, different here. I did. Yeah, get, yeah there we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I like the sound effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like, I'm ready to spend money today. He said to change. To change. He did. He's like, take my kid slide, bro. Yeah. Here's a check. <laughs> coming up, we seek out the Brinkley line of fifth wheels. And also coming up, we walk through a million dollar motor coach. So stay tuned. Oh, oh, sure does. We need to find some. Oh, we, we need to get those. those. Yeah, oh. Hey, wait, wait. He's got something on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, who, who, who makes it? Let's see. What does it say? 
J. Cole. We need to, we need to yeah, find, find those. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's two right here. <laughs> Let's go in there and say, hey, we ought to buy these. Yeah, we need to find those. Hey man, that's cool. I actually, uh, I like that. Look. Oh, it actually opens, opens, uh -huh. opens. Oh yeah, that's yeah. cool. Which open up huge and then have built-in screens. Oh yeah. Uh, you got it. Oh yeah. You can, you can kind of blend it in. Blend it in. Having the hose on the campsite just makes so much more sense. I understand. The wheels are pretty. I like them. That's actually a really nice uh, camper there. This is a little bit smaller. Got the hose bib on the side. All right, so this one here puts the bedroom and everything together. It's not bad. Like your studio, this is your studio. It's like your studio apartment. Oh, oh yeah. Door you can jump out of. Oh yeah, bathroom looks good. You get your little escape hatch. <laughs> That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat, guys. I like it. Maybe your office desk and you can open up and kind of enjoy the outdoors while you're working. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This is a big joker. Hmm. Get the one control. Oh, they got a window up there, a little skylight, don't they? So you can. Oh, yeah. So you, oh yeah, so you come up here and you got a lot of little. You can't stand up, so. You no, know, that's, that's pretty, pretty neat. Cool, isn't it? That's pretty neat, yeah. Animal. That up there's pretty cool. Yeah. So you step down, you step down into your bedroom because you bunk room. Yeah, you would. So your, tra your trade off is, is you got a lot less storage space in here. Yeah. So you get that up there, but you. That's what I'm saying. You, yeah, like I'm yeah. You're basically in a basement right here. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you don't really have a use for this bunk rooms, then yeah. you've lost your space for nothing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. It's got a good high ceiling. I like the dining area. I like the window. I like the windows they got in the dining room. That's that's nice. Very nice. Got a little little bunk. I hope this thing can help hold my weight. We got a little bunk room up here. Entertainment center over here. Yeah. Yeah, Hannah would say this is a woman. This is me. This is a woman. Yeah. And then right here. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's got a white go up there. We yeah. block him off. He jump off oh, there. Go up there. I think I would I would rather have this as the master as my this is where I'd want to be. Why? Well, the bathroom I like better. The bathroom I like better. The toilet having the toilet in the corner there I kind of like that because gives you more privacy. Yeah. Um, but I like I don't know because when you go to a campground 
most of the time when we back in, this is the quiet area. The front of the camper is where all the noise are because of the campers, you know, people walking around. The camper. camper, that's where you hear all the noise. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty cool having two, having your dual bedroom camper. So this would be good for uh, families right here. Like if you had kids, kids could have one bedroom. And then you got, then they have the fun zone up here. If I was a little kid, this would, uh, I'd want to be hanging out. This little fun zone. We go all vacation. All vacation. I do like their uh, windows there. Yeah, I like that too. I kind of, I, in my camper, I always kind of figure, I was like, why did they put a window there? Oh, that's it, yeah. Yeah, make it four-seaters to hmm. two-seater. Yeah. Oh, the TV's right here. Oh, okay. So this comes down. So the TV on both sides of this, isn't it? Step up, like the movie theater. Huh. Step up. Yeah. The window's behind you. This is that whisper quiet system. Oh, I got the whisper quiet system. There's your. That dishwasher. All right, I got a little dishwasher in the kitchen. Dining table. Slides back and forth. Yeah. Hey, what kind of little lock they've got up here? That's what I need. The refrigerator door lock. How's that work? It's on the frame. How's that work? Because I need, I need that. It's on the frame. It's got this little frame. It's got a frame. In the of that that just okay, so this little it. frame screws into the refrigerator. Yeah. Oh gosh, I got to show Tanya this because everything we've done. That's just an optional thing they sell. You probably look up that name brand. Yeah. And look at refrigerator lock. Yeah. Find it. See, it also screws into the See? the sidewall like right, right there, and they keep the refrigerator. We we've tried different things, and about every one of them has broke. Well, most of the time they work, but we've twice now we've had a refrigerator come open on us. What? All right, so here is a lock for the refrigerator. This is pretty much ours. We got to get this little piece somehow. We got to figure out the part number on this. Because what it does is it just screws into the refrigerator front and it screws into the wall, this wall. And then you have that little thing right there. Uh -huh. Then we won't have to worry about those breaking anymore. We broke two locks that mount on here that keep uh -huh. the doors. Two of them while we're driving down the road. So now we got to find those trays to go in. Yes. Yeah, we got to oh, find the gotta, trays. Now we got to find that thing. Now right. we got to find that thing. Is it on the instructions of what it's called? Another thing camping shows are good for is mm -hmm. to find out yeah, things yeah. like that that you just don't even think about yeah. or know what to even look for. But anyway, there's one thing. That What's your favorite feature? My of? favorite feature, yeah. feature was the L couch. The L couch, so and that was it, in which camper? That was in the Montana. In the Montana. In Montana. We walked in that one. Yes. Yeah. I'll try to show it right now. There, that's <laughs> cool. <laughs> I like the... Uh, I really like the L-shaped couch. I like the beam right there. Yeah, a little decorative yeah. beam up there. Oh, it's a great camera show so far. It's really nice in here, isn't it? Yeah, it's real nice. <laughs>
Coming up next, we walk through a million dollar Tiffin motor coach right after this. Now, I had to do a voiceover here because when we were at the show, I really didn't know what I was looking at and I didn't really know everything there was about Brinkley RVs. So I've kind of looked it up and here's what I found. So they have some standout features that are standard on their models. And one of them is they have electric waste valves. None of that pulling stuff, just a button push. They do not separate gray tanks like others so you can share the storage between kitchen and bathroom. Another thing they have is a 65 foot integrated water hose and retractable reel. Now that is pretty cool. I like that idea. They also have a built-in electric power cord reel. Um, that is pretty awesome. The other thing that they come standard with is TPMS, tire pressure monitoring. So all that's built into all the wheels. So you don't have to go buy the third party uh, product like we have. They also come equipped with Cooper Works tires that are highly rated. Uh, Cooper is a really good brand. They have automotive grade exterior. Hmm. So a lot of these campers now, they have backup lights. So when you go in reverse uh, your lights, it lets people know you're like backing the up. Lights on. The lights are cool. LED. Yeah. And you got a little back storage there. That's cool. That's a true camper. I mean That's a true hitch. So you could actually Yeah, you can actually tow something there. Tow something. Yeah, a little boat or a little jet ski or something. It's just a bike rack. Yeah, that's all ours is, a bike rack. It says nothing over six hundred pounds. Oh, does it have the dog bowl underneath it too? Oh yeah, these Brinkleys. I'm gonna tell you, they're really growing on me. I really like them. I like this squared look. I don't know, I mean, I kind of like the modern style. It's kind of like the 1970s brought back to the year 2024. Uh, <laughs> Cause it's like, in the 70s they had a lot of chairs that looked similar to that. Uh, so we got a uh, little couch and overhead stuff there. Oh, check this out. So on the air conditioning system, you actually got you actually got some override buttons on this. That's cool. So that's Furion air conditioning. Okay. And they got that. And then the entertainment center. They got the the TV that goes in, comes back out, it goes in, gives you more counter space for your kitchen. That's cool. It's always a always a plus for for the camping life. You know, we'll go back here in the back before somebody comes in. Um, before somebody else comes in. So up here we got the, okay, okay. So you got a bathroom toilet there, okay. A little slide door. Go in here, you got showers a little bit smaller in this one. It's a little bit smaller, but still good size. The bedroom's a lot smaller, so you kind of got a trade off. But, you know, hey, if you just want to sleep in the bedroom, don't really care much else about the bedroom. This will be the one for you. It does look like this is a slide. I think this, is this a slide? Yeah, this is a slide. Yeah, that's a slide. So that whole system there from there to there is a slide. It slides out. That's really cool. I like how they got the outlets and the lights there. It's nice. I like the door handles. Hardware is nice. Yeah, so you got the little dog bowl right here. And that is, I've seen this in a lot of the campers now. They're putting these dog bowls, cat bowls, whatever. A little hideaway, that is, I actually wish we had that. <laughs> that would make things a lot. Oh, the sink, oh yeah, look, check this out. They got this, oh yeah, the sinks. Some good, good hardware here. And some fake oranges there. Yeah. You got that same little oven. Well, no, this is different. This one's, uh, this one's Furion. Okay, so they did Furion in this one. Furion microwave convection oven, maybe? No, nope. no, nope, that's just a microwave. So that doesn't have a convection oven, that's just a microwave. But the entertainment center's cool. All right, 
pantry with an outlet in there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, these are adjustable shelves. You can adjust it how you want it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's our refrigerator. That's the exact refrigerator we got. Oh, same refrigerator we have. I like that one. It's a good refrigerator. Yeah, this slide out for painting. The windows are square. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. I didn't do round windows. Yeah, you can see they. It's got that square, boxy look. Yep. Yeah. Wow, they're trying to really get the Brinkley moving, aren't they? What's in your wallet? I like having this handle. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. yeah. And you got your. I like this. One control. I like having this handle. Yeah. Pretty similar to the other one. The other one. Did you see that other one? It had the prep for the washer. So this bedroom here is just like that other bedroom we just saw in that other one. Same layout. See, it's got even at the wall drill for the dryer. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? You know, like ours, you'd have to drill a hole for the dryer. No, oh, I bet it does. I bet it does. Somewhere. Yep. Go down here. It's kitchen. Got that. Uh, they got that modern, sleek look. I, lo I like their. Uh... Oh, check. Check this out. Oh, look how it does. Well, that's neat. Huh. Did you notice the side how they do? You let, let uh, that's yeah. Plugs and plugs. yeah. Yeah, it has that little pop up. Yeah, it pops up. And it hides it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I wish we had some of that. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. That's pretty neat. Pretty cool. <laughs> Hey, look, they got a camera. It says no video signal. So, like, they got a camera somewhere. Hmm. Rockford Frostgate. They got Rockford Frostgate uh, sound system. Oh, see, it is fancy. Look at Rockford Frostgate. You got your entertainment center here with your fireplace. That's pretty cool. What well, gets real, real uh, shaky when you get on the deck, though, don't it? Yeah. Kind of moves a lot. Seems like, like you'd want to have, port. like, have it's extra covered. support. Yeah. Yeah, nice. yeah check, like check this out. Yeah, they got the Rockford Frostgate <laughs> uh, right sound yet. system. <laughs> yeah. That's a. But, yeah, so and then here, so you got a television, a little bunk room up them. there, <laughs> and a little half bath in here. Have a search, you have to search out. Yeah, you got a little half bath in here. Like a green bar. It's got a good high ceiling in there. Some of their sites, some of their sites you can't. So you got your sound control, your sound system control. Hey, Tanya, you know what I like about this is these lights stay on, so you can always tell where you're. You don't have to hit a button. You know, having that stay lit up is pretty cool. All right, there on that one they don't. That's kind of that's the. Yeah, we do. What is that? Is that some add on? You can get them the add on. That's Lippert it makes it. Yeah. So, what it does is it just connects to that yeah, yeah. and then hits that. Yeah, Ronnie and I think got one for that. That just does the screen door. Yeah. That doesn't do the main door, does it? Yeah, I don't know. Well, all, the main door's attached to the screen, so it would do it. No, the, this this is your main, yeah. that's your main door handle. Yeah. So, that's just for the screen door. You can look at that. Yeah. A refrigerator. A refrigerator? No. That refrigerator drawer. Yeah. Oh man, they. This is a bad boy. Yeah, it is. Outdoor shower. That's your quickness. See, let me tell you something. This is the side of the camper this needs to be on. Yeah. Because when we go like to the beach, yeah, you want to wash your feet off and do all that. You have to put it over there and then walk across the dirt to get it back back around to here. Yeah. Yeah. So. No video signal. So it's got some kind of camera system, like security cameras or something. Yeah, I bet it is. Huh? Yeah. But you got uh, what? Well, you got all slides? You can do your slides from here. Look, wait a minute. You got slides. Yeah. Could that control the slides? Yeah. 
Now look. Yeah. Now check this out. So you got this is where all the Fro Rockford Fosgate sound uh, amps are, yeah, power amps. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh wait a minute! That gets you to your basement. Like you know, in ours Perks. you have to take the walls yeah. apart yeah. to get to it. Yeah. Whereas here you can actually get to, huh, them. Get to them. Yeah. And then the front compartment opens, passes through. Tony, you ready to get a new one? Now the Brinkley's got it going on. I like their, uh, I like their sleek look. Do what? Generator. Got a generator with it. Wow, what's this? What's this little thing? That's your hydraulic fluid. Oh, okay, okay. Your hydraulic system. So this, so this stays up like that. Yep. And then you can access your front storage through here. And then you got a pass through in the front. Yeah, See, that's cool. Shut up, battery oh. disconnects. There's a camera button. Camera button. Huh. What all that camera? Ah, you know what? See, it's got these uh, cameras, these Furion cameras. Yeah. I bet that turns on these so that these work as security cameras. What do you think? That's a light, ain't it? Jeez. I can't even see it. I don't have a light here. It's definitely a light. Tow assist, yeah, Dexter tow assist. assist. Huh. Some kind of Dexter. Signal. Yeah, it is. Huh. It's got a lot of good features on it. It does have a lot of good features on it. I like how the LED lights are uh, smoked yeah. to where you don't see the actual individual bulbs. That's pretty cool. It's neat. Uh, to it's me, to light. me, to me, uh, if, if Tesla was going to make a camper, this is what Why it would look it like. Make, yeah. Because it, it has all those square edges like a Tesla does. Yeah. But kind of like innovative. That is neat. So they got a travel trailer. Where's the travel trailer version at? It ain't here, is it? What kind of, what kind of system are they running here? It's, it's kind of like a, it's a metal track. Is that something they've developed? I've never seen that. It's like a metal track. It's a metal track. It's something like that, kind of like that. Sedgwick, just different, I mean, basically huh. the same idea. So there's probably a gear in there that just fits on this track. Right yeah, motors right there. Right there, yeah. Motor up there, you got four motors. So you got one, two, three, four, yeah. yeah. What's this right here? Oh, so this lets down, so this lets down and you can close this compartment off. Yeah, have it nothing close from the front, but a different compartment. Yeah, you can make it, you can separate, separate it with that. Separate. And that is, that is metal. That's a metal, metal door. Oh, you already dropped it down. Oh. Yeah, you can section it down. Ha <laughs> ha. So it's got magnets that hold it up. Yeah, to me, that to me, it's pretty cool that these to these toy haulers have their own gas pumps, yeah. so you can fill up. Uh, so you put your gas in here, yeah. and then it has a pump that pumps this into your motorcycles. Yeah. Oh, that's the air compressor. Oh, that's the air compressor. Brinkley has got a pretty good setup. Their their uh, toy hauler area is so finished in. Doesn't look like uh, some of the others, as you can kind of see. I don't want to go in there because there's people in there right now, but you can kind of see. I think I got a shot on this earlier today. I'll check it out. So you got a little gate right here you can you can open. Say so look, you got your little gate. Oh, you got steps that hook onto this. Yeah. Somehow. You have a set of steps that hang right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay.
one million dollar motor coach. By the time tax is added on to it, it'll be a million. Wow, nice. Got your escape door there. That's your fire exit behind the toilet. It's a DOT regulation. Especially when you're in a motor coach. That's pretty cool. We just, uh, hey, Sonia, so <laughs> we just met our first uh, fan, I yeah. guess. That's kind of funny. Subscriber. I guess a subscriber. He said he, he said recognizes like us on the channel, so that's pretty cool. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's got your little command centers at each little end of the thing, and then you got another one there, so no matter where you're sitting, you can have control of, I guess, the different features of the. Oh, yeah. There's all your lights here. Front TV. You can turn your front TV up, volume up here. Oh, yeah. Huh. Now, this is nice. All right, Tanya. Go ahead and get the paperwork put, it, put together. Go ahead and get the paperwork together. <laughs> so he said, uh, He's gonna work with you on that price. What you gonna yeah, get? It for? What are you gonna get it for? About twenty-five dollars all. Twenty-five dollars. So it'd be seven hundred and twenty-five thousand. Seven hundred twenty-five. He did say it's, it throw in a sewage hose. <laughs> so a sewage hose was included. Yeah. So he said if you get it today. Twenty-five foot of sewage hose. So if you get it today, you pay seven hundred. We'll give you a sewer hose and a water hose. Yeah. <laughs> We'll give you a starter kit. A starter kit. <laughs> get you a starter kit. Go buy Bucky's and get Karen, you want to go look yeah. at your camper again? I'm good. You good? Tanya, you gonna get one of those Brinkley's? Uh, no. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and put our put our put our uh, name down for it. Tanya. I'll have to wait. The Brinkley the Brinkley's there for you. No, I'm good. <laughs> They're nice though. I like yeah, them. Yeah, I know. I like I like the style of them. I don't know. Oh yeah, the Brinkley's. Yeah, they just got like a good look. Yeah. All right, you yeah. got your microphone where I everybody do. can hear you? All right. Okay, I guess I do. We got our new microphones. Y'all like these new little microphones so you can actually hear us a little bit better? All right, so what was your favorite thing today at the RV show? What was it? What was it? What was it? What's your favorite thing? You have no favorite thing? <laughs> no, I don't. Well, I have a favorite thing. It's called the Brinkley Camper. That's the one I like. Karen, what was your favorite thing again? What was your favorite thing? Uh, my favorite thing was the Montana that had the couch shaped like an L. Mm. Gave you a lot more living space area. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen an L-shaped couch yet. Nope, and we also got to see Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got to see Spider-Man, the little uh, Jayco bird. The Jayco bird and, uh, and a fox. raccoon. Raccoon. Yeah, yeah raccoon, raccoon, fox, I don't know. Raccoon. <laughs> it looked like a fox at first. Yeah. And I was always oh, a raccoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got a few little things right here. A lot of, a lot of cool stuff. I am shocked at how low crowded it was. Very low crowded. Uh, it was so much different than the Atlanta but camping show where it was just packed to the gill. Very low every camping show we've awesome ever been to. Oh, this was his favorite part. <laughs> we get locked up. I'll say, hey, sorry. You, you got I tried to get that Tifton motor home, but it wouldn't let me. Yeah, you, you, thought, you thought that was a freebie, didn't you? I did. I tried to drive it. <laughs> they told me to get back in the car. car. <laughs> <laughs> this is a super nice facility for this too. This is so much better than the Atlanta camping show as far as that goes. And actually, I think I like this show better. I think I did too. And I think the the quality in the campers they had here, I thought were yeah. yeah. The selections, right. the selections were much better. Yeah, you had much yeah. of a because wider they selection. Had, they had it from the lowest, smallest camper of that. Brand, brand right mm -hmm. to the all the way up to the most expensive mm -hmm. brand, which was good. Yeah, yeah. they did that with the Montanas and the Cougar. Yeah, right. so you yeah. got a good yeah. range. Yeah, then yeah. they right. had three Brinkleys, which yeah. we haven't seen before. No, because the other show only had two, I think. Yeah, yeah so. the, the, they still didn't have the travel trailer version here, though. No, no. but I think that one's new. I don't think that one's been around for long. No. so they're still still getting them. Out. They're still pretty new. Yeah. But, so, but it was a good show. It Great was a show. Good show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wish more uh, campgrounds would have advertised that. Yeah, that was, that was that was the, disappointing. That was disappointing, and I kind of it was the opposite of the other place because yeah. the other place was just flooded, flooded with, with camping yeah. uh, camping uh, grounds. grounds. Yeah. Here it was, it was one. 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 Yeah. And he was very he was very interested to, to tell you, and he didn't even care the camera was pointing down. He was right. actually looking at it, so yeah. that was kind of good. Yeah. Anyway, all right. 
All right, let's get on the road. Get Take our road. long journey back home to Georgia. Thank you for watching today's show. Be sure to comment below. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps our ranking on YouTube. We met a great couple at the show with Papa Gigi's Big Adventure. Uh, they have just started a YouTube channel. Y'all check them out. I'll have a link below in the description to their channel. Papa and Gigi, y'all comment below. Let us know what you think. Also, thanks to the subscriber that greeted us at the show. Whoever you are, comment below. Let us know what you think. This is Glamp Review. We do campground reviews and more. Y'all have a good one. 